Wow. Crazy. You're crazy, girl. Gentlemen, the currency of modern dating world is more of money and little regard to genuine affection and love. What once was considered as a woman being a gold digger now is trend of dating options that people can have. And I love the freedom that modern dating world brings. What I'm not and any guy shouldn't be okay with is being used as a cash cow in the relationship. So you need to avoid that. Some men invest in women because they are aiming for a long-term relationship but when a woman creates the illusion of long-term relationship while her intentions are contrary to that then there's a problem and these are just some of the reason why trust has deteriorated so much in modern relationships it's a union of convenience no longer a right or die partnership the sad thing about this is some guys glorify the women when she openly acknowledges that she's bringing nothing to the table other than her looks and expensive lifestyle she can't give herself it's a gentleman thing to do to sometimes spend on your girlfriend and make her feel like a baby girl but that shouldn't be the criteria for maintaining the relationships gentlemen you're spending on women who have a goal of landing a rich man and quitting the workforce to be a stay-home girlfriend so how did we get here as a society we want everything fast and mostly without having to work for it most women these days are no longer interested in meeting a guy and waiting out uh, with him to make a family many of them prefer dating an old man who is more settled and stable able to pay their bills take her on trips of places she can't pronounce now an older guy might be comfortable spending more on a young hot babe to keep her under his wrap but guys that are looking for love and spending like there's no tomorrow trying to impress a woman and keep them under their wraps are the guys that get out of the dating game scared and beat out it's important that guys understand why a woman is attracted to them some women come with malice and uh, are good at concealing their intentions in the beginning but you'll get a hint out of it you can tell on the first date the kind of woman you're dating by how she behaves when the bill is brought if she acts like she's not even seen the bill and wait for you to pay after she ate the most expensive dish on the menu you're an a TM. Next time she'll remind you to the date that you'll end up doing the shopping for her or buying her brands that she only sees on the billboards. Gentlemen, do you think the women you are with right now would prefer to be with a rich and older guy if she had an option? Psychological studies have consistently found that women will prefer a man with resources over a good looking man. Convenience and comfort are essentially important variables when choosing mates, especially one that a woman is looking to settle down with them and make a family. Various studies have shown that most women are not much intrigued by the money but by the idea of convenience and comfort money brings in a relationship however women differ on the value actually they put on money to achieve the convenience and comfort they desire in a relationship while some women will feel comfortable in a relationship that they have to carpool some will feel convenient and comfortable in a relationship that she has a private chauffeur however gentlemen you need money if you want to have a stable relationship understanding your financial muscle can give you an idea of women to approach when you approach a woman that has done all the beauty surgeries to look like a baby doll don't think you'll take her to McDonald's and she'll be impressed she has invested in her looks for a reason and attracting a broke guy is not a you'll feel happy and content in a relationship when your partner speaks your love language and for some modern women that's the money diving into this aspect of love languages will need us to understand what they are love languages are different ways of expressing and receiving love identifying a woman's love language and speaking it actually it will make it easy to connect with her on a very personal and deep level being that this is the point of need of her soul if your woman feels most appreciated when you take the kids to the school because that eases her daily workload then she will appreciate that actually more than getting her an expensive watch so having said that it's important to identify your partner's love language there are five of them 
acts of service, word of affirmation, physical touch, quality time and receiving gifts. Knowing the one she most responds to, any identifies as your way of communicating love will go a long way in the relationship. A woman who speaks the love language of words of affirmation actually appreciates it when you compliment and encourage her. When you speak in an affirming manner and appreciate her efforts is when she mostly feels your love for her. So she will appreciate it when you listen to her and take seriously your conversations together. Unexpected text messages and cards will take it up a notch. Noted gentleman, showing her that you are intentional with what you say and mean it. Another way of communicating love is through physical touch. Hearing of this will probably make you think of sex as a primary way of feeling and showing love, but this love language is not only limited to sex, it involves the aspect of responding to physical contact. So this may hug, holding hands, kisses, cuddling, and sex. The women whose primary love language which is physical touch will need a background from time to time. For her, it's just less about the use of words and more about nonverbal communication. She's more sensitive to her body language and nonverbal communication than her man. Being in the same room with her is more satisfying no matter what you are doing. She feels good when her partner uses nonverbal body language to show affection. There is also the woman who values receiving gifts in the relationship. It wouldn't be just be any gift though, she will value thoughtfulness, her partner remembering special occasions and feeling like she is the priority. Spending quality time together is another way of communicating love. If your woman particularly enjoys having one-on-one -on -one time with you and uninterrupted conversations, then this is probably the kicker. A weekend out together will be a big deal for her. She will enjoy doing things together, maybe your hobbies or activities you do together, and for her small things like making a meal together make a big difference. Lastly, there is the woman who values act of service in the relationship and loves it when you want to help. Easing up her lot of activities is recognized as an expression of love and it doesn't go unnoticed. Knowing what your partner unconsciously recognizes as the ultimate expression of love will make it easy to communicate in her style of love and make your connection grow stronger and deeper. A woman may not necessarily respond to you consistently telling her you love her, but the moment you bring her a gift that you bought in the middle of the actual day may cause her to respond in the way you need for her to. For her, they may say, I was thinking about you even when you were away and this may go a long way if that is her love language. What we think we want and what we need in most cases vary. A woman may think that she needs a big house with several cars parked outside and unlimited credit card access to be happy in a relationship. It is even likely that past relationships didn't work out for her because of this mindset and being in a relationship with partners who don't recognize what she needs. Being with a man who recognizes and understands her needs, however, it changes the narrative. This is the same even for us men. As we set this pace, she's likely to walk it with you. A woman who chooses to be with you is usually ready to go the mile to make you happy and comfortable as well. I sometimes say that it's easy to be Prince Charming in a woman's story if you understand what she needs. The moment she feels seen and understood by you, she's likely to settle her mind on you as a potential partner. I believe that once you give a woman what she needs, she will bend her back backward for you. Now, I don't mean this is in a manipulative way, but more of a service way. Being in a fulfilling long-term relationship is more of an investment. You will need to make some sacrifices to make it work as your partner makes sacrifices as well. Comfort in a relationship comes with being connected to a woman who brings to the table what you deem is as necessary. So being with someone who meets your needs all across the spectrum makes your life more comfortable. So I therefore don't actually have a problem being 
the sole provider in my family as long as my women is making it work at home. It boils down to the kind of relationship you two have formed. During the period of dating, it is important to test your women and identify what she would offer if the two of you actually would go into a long-term relationship. These are important questions that you should ask and have conversation about before settling for partners. Well, gentlemen, if you want to have a frank chat with me, click the link below and schedule a consultation. You and I will break any barriers that are sabotaging your success in dating. Hope to see you in my next video.